Hello everyone. I am going to begin demonstrating the projects for eBlocks Circuit Blocks Builder 120. Project 1 is closed circuit. Assembling the parts is relatively easy. The, the, all the parts are color coded and have numbers on them so that you know what they are. For instance, the battery holder is green and it has the number 91. The incandescent lamp has the number 76. And the press switch has the number 62. And so you can always look at the numbers for quick reference to the parts. But it is relatively easy to assemble. You have the battery holder and the lamp on level one. And then you have the press switch and a four wire on level two. Here are the instructions on how you can assemble them if you want to see them. Now make sure that the battery cover is secure before using them. This actually has a cover that goes over to protect the batteries. And it's highly recommended that the cover is firmly shut. Without further ado, we're going to turn on the lamp. We're going to push the press switch and release it and the lamp lights. It's not a very bright lamp, so it won't light a large area, but it will teach you about the basics of closed circuits and incandescent lamps. Now, unlike the press switch and other snap circuits kits, this one does not have to be held down to keep the circuit on. You just press it and it will lock into the on position. To turn the circuit off, you just press the button again, and now it's released. The circuit is now broken, and the lamp can no longer light. Pushing the button again closes the circuit, hence the name of this project. Number two, LED, the check valve light. Using the same circuit, we will replace the incandescent lamp with the LED which has a star on it, and it is numbered 70. And we will push the press switch. Now make sure that the positive end of the LED is facing away from you when viewing the circuit from this angle. The number should be away from you. You can see part of it right there. We push the press switch, and the white LED comes on. It may look a little green or blue to the camera, but it's really, or actually, I think it really is blue. But the star makes it look white, and it looks white to the camera as well. Unlike incandescent lamps, LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, allow electricity to flow only in one direction. I'm not going to do it, but if I was to reverse the if I was to switch the direction of the LED, it will not light up because the current cannot flow through it in the opposite direction. Number three, magnetic switch. Using the circuit from project one, we will replace the press switch with the read switch, purple and number 83. Now this switch is incredibly unique. That is because it uses magnetism to operate. This kit comes with a small magnet, which is number seven, but it's easily recognizable. And then you have to place it very close to the reed switch. If you place the magnet at just the right position on the reed switch, the lamp will come on. You may not even have to touch the, uh, you don't even have to contact the reed switch to turn the lamp on. It will just light up when the magnet is close, is 
just close enough. When you take away the magnet, the switch deactivates and the lamp turns off. One more time. Number four, alarm switches. Replacing the lamp with the LED and the number facing away from me, we will place the magnet near the reed switch and like with the incandescent lamp, if it is just the right position, the LED will come on. I'll move it over here so you can see it better. You can see the star light up. And you can use this circuit as a magnet detector or an alarm because if the switch detects a magnet nearby, it will turn on the LED and alert you to the presence of a magnet. But read switches have more practical applications such as being used in home security systems. There are read switches that can detect if a door or window is open when the system is engaged. So if an intruder is able to force open a door or window, then they probably would set off an alarm, which in turn will alert the homeowners and or the police, and hopefully they will be caught. Number five, the momentary switch. Using this circuit, we will include the incandescent lamp four wire and also another press switch number 61. This is different from the press switch that I used in the previous projects which is yellow and numbered 62. This one is green and we will push down on the switch and the lamp lights. But when I release the switch the lamp turns off. It on, the lamp will only stay on as long as the press switch is held down. If I release it, the LED turns off. This is just like the press switch and other snap circuits projects. It will only stay on when it is firmly held down. Now I can replace the incandescent lamp with the LED and we'll get the same result.